H5P stands for HTML5 Content Package. It's a project that's come out of Norway uh, from the National Digital Learning Arena in Norway, um, which they wanted to replace all their flash based um, learning modules, the, the things that we've been creating for the last 10 15 years, um, with something that was more mobile friendly, uh, particularly tablets which don't have flash. And so they, they went to HTML5. And what they've done is they built a, a method of packaging HTML5 content and then embedding that into other websites. There are a number of different types of content. They are your typical interactions that you would see in a learning module, uh, in an e-learning module. So things like multiple choice, drag and drop, um, hotspots, th things like that. They've extended that so you've got things like interactive videos where you can place um, almost hotspots within a video so as it plays something pops up over the top of it. Um, you've also got um, timelines which I'll show you in a minute and Twitter and Facebook feeds so you can have content coming in live into your learning modules. So if I just show you very briefly some of these modules, this is an, an image hotspot. Um, there is the option to expose it to full, full screen if you want to, just like a YouTube video. Uh, when you click on a hotspot, it brings up uh, your text. Um, but with every one of these um, modules, you also get the option to allow people, if you want to, to download it and then put it onto their own website um, or to embed it just like you would embed a YouTube or a Vimeo video or a SlideShare package. This is the timeline module showing the history of strawberries and as you go through you can see the timeline moving. We can drag the timeline if we want to or go and explore it up here. Um, there's your typical multiple choice questions or that's a single question. You can have question sets. This is a question set that contains many different types of questions. So this is a drag and drop. So I'll put that one there and that one there. That one's not falling in properly. There we go. Um, and then move on to the next one. And that's got a multiple choice question. So it's all part of the same question set. I can check. Yeah, that's all done and I've got two out of three points so I missed the first question. Uh, there's the drag and drop which I've shown you, the Twitter feed, so this is a live Twitter feed coming from the H5P Twitter account. One of the cool things is as well as all these separate modules you can combine them into the presentation module um, which allows you to uh, drop images and text onto the screen and hyperlinks to specific pages within the presentation and I can also embed the videos and the, some of these interactions like the multiple choice questions and then there's a summary of what I've done at the end. So it's, it's a very powerful system.